Next year, we're going to be talking a lot. I have never done a new year before. <laughs> what I want for myself for 2024 is. The last time, I'm just going to be doing this one like. <laughs> Last last we got the ginger drink. But the beauty of diversity is there is always. <laughs> The best thing that I did this year was As our year comes to an end and we welcome a new year, it's time to say goodbye. Our year has come to an end. I've made more cherished memories and many more new friends. I have watched me learn and grow and change from day to day. I hope that all of the things that we've done this year have helped in some small way. So it is with happy memories I send you out the door dearest 2023 with great hopes and expectations for what 2024 holds in store. Dearest family on here, Happy New Year in advance. I know by the time that you get to see this video, it is New Year already. I wish you all of the best that life has to offer in 2024. I pray that all of your prayers are answered and all of your expectations for 2024 comes to pass hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are just joining us for the first time my name is hasia hassan i am a youtuber based in kaduna nigeria and on here we do everything motherhood everything lifestyle we talk about motherhood in general and i bring on makeup and food in between Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have, don't forget to turn on post notifications for when um, I make posts on here. Thank you so much for joining the family. I promise that you would enjoy your stay here. So basically, this is the morning of the 29th of December, and I am blowing balloons. What the things that motherhood makes you do? I'm blowing balloons in the hopes of surprising Haifa when she wakes up in the morning. I am done blowing the balloons here. I'm just going to go get her cake and. The cake was made by a vendor on Instagram. I'll see if I can oh, tag her in the description box. Oh my god, guys. Sorry. And um, 
she sent a picture before sending down the cake all i'm supposed to do is um follow the picture and put the cake toppers back on the cake so that's basically what i'm doing here So guys i am done here i gave myself a thumbs up because it's not easy blowing all those balloons and putting back the cake topper so this is approximately i think 12 yeah 12 25 a.m i'm just going to take the cake back into the fridge and after soup heat prayer i'll bring it out while we wait for high fast reactions Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. Birthday. It's a birthday. Happy birthday to you. Baby. Happy birthday for me. Haifa was super excited about the balloon, the cake, and the number balloon. And Alhamdulillah, that was my aim as a mother. I just wanted her to, you know, have a special time for her birthday i don't know if that's right to say um i didn't know what to get haifa for her birthday i am still thinking of what to get her for her birthday i like getting her things that are valuable and um things she would appreciate for a very long time anyway guys we spent the day having fun with the balloons and eating cake and taking juice <laughs> in our first voice um i had um clients for that same evening so we went out in the evening to get my clients all glammed up and then we came back home and spent the rest of the day at home I have been lazy lately to make Haifa's hair. Uh, we washed her hair on the 28th of December, hoping to like make the hair that same day against her birthday. But 
um i couldn't do it because i was lazy and then um today is the 31st of december and i'm trying to make her hair i think i'm lazy because it's always chaotic making hyphas hair you have to make sure there's biscuits there's juice there's something to distract her you know while making the hair i had zero intentions of recording making her hair but because she started throwing tantrums here and there so i decided to just keep the camera once the camera once she's in front of the camera haifa tries her possible best to behave herself because she believes that like a lot of people out there are watching her and she is not supposed to be acting that way i did not teach her to do that she just i don't know whenever you set the camera in front of haifa whatever she's doing she composes herself and you know i don't know looks straight into the camera and like i don't know how to explain this but it's not something i sat down sat her down to teach her i think maybe because i do a lot of videos and i talk um, a lot in those videos maybe that's why she just thinks there's somebody watching her or something anyway this day my intention was to make shuku and then along the line i just changed it to shadi if you're in nigeria you should know shuku and shadi anyway something simple because i had zero energy for like you know a style that is going to take a lot of time coupled with the way she was even acting one funny thing is she'll cry through the process of making her hair right but as soon as you're done the girl starts doing shakara on the camera looking at looking at herself in the mirror and admiring the hair and all that Hello guys, <laughs> happy new year. I know, I know by the time you guys will be seeing this video, it's going to be new year already. And there's something I want to talk about. First off, this is going to be our new look for 2024. So when you see this veil and you see this sunglasses and you see me applying lip gloss, just know that we're about to have a whole lot of chats here and there. So let me come close. And I just wanted to appreciate you guys for all of the love you guys have shown me in 2023. And I wish you all of the best in 2024. And there's one other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Do you do New Year resolutions? Have you done a New Year resolution before? And how long, um, how, how long did you uphold that New Year resolution? I have never had any new year resolution you know those um new year new me stuff i've never had them i just waltz into the new year like it's just a continuity of my life that's how i see it i don't i don't have any resolution per se but this year i want to have one and what i want for myself for 2024 is for me to be closer to god spiritually um not that I am not close to God, but I am not as close as I would want to be with him. So I am hoping that this year I am taking it upon myself to work on my spirituality, work on um, my prayers, making sure that I do not miss any of my obligatory prayers and then make sure that I add um, other... <laughs> others to it i don't know how to say this and probably within the year i would try to go back to my arabic school i would like to go back to um, my tutorial classes and um we'll see how it goes so i'm giving myself from now to the first quarter of the year to see how how well i uphold this new year resolution and then from there we move further I don't know do you guys do new year resolutions what is your new year resolution please put it in the comments let's talk about this and if you have any suggestions as to how i can grow spiritually 
I would really appreciate it if you put it down in the comments. And um, I do not do the whole um, 2023 broke me and 2024 I'm coming backwards. I don't know why people do that. I always say Alhamdulillah in as much as a lot of things happen during the space of um, 2023. I still feel like Alhamdulillah is the right word to say and appreciate God for actually pulling you through it and keeping you alive and healthy to this time of um, the new year because some people didn't make it, some people couldn't make it and some people wouldn't be able to even survive half of the things that you went through during the year so alhamdulillah it's just the best tool best thing best best thing to say and equally pray that god makes 2024 way better than um 2023 so from me and hamad we're wishing you guys happy new year <laughs> and haifa too haifa is behind the camera and she is also wishing you guys happy new year so today is the first of january 2024 and we will be going out for an event later in the day i'm sure i'm sure going to carry you guys along with me so see you guys at the event guys entry to this place is chaotic like i almost gave up i almost gave up i swear Guys, if you are in Kaduna and you've been to Myrtle Square before, you know that it is huge. And this park, Myrtle Square, sorry, was packed with people, like a lot of people. You guys, we saw a lot of vendors, we ate, we drank, we danced to music and it was fun. This is the first event I am attending in 2024 and it was really fun.
Hippa, hippa, hippa. Hey, now like this. Why you people who not see me? The best thing that I did this year was I kept going. Not because I wanted to. It's because I deserved to know what it felt like to not give up on myself. I stayed consistent. I didn't give excuses. So at the end of the day, I'm proud of me.